on TMZ. Okay, um, well, not to disappoint, Kanye West has not only caused an incident, but an international one over a failed hug. A failed hug between Kanye and his former trainer, Harley Pasternak. They do not get along, have not gotten along since 2016. Harley is the one who called authorities and said, you gotta come to my gym, Kanye's here and he's melting down. And that's when he got 5150 on the psychiatric hold. Daryl Hall is suing John Oates. Aww. And got a restraining order against him. Hall and Oates still the biggest number one duo in the history of music. It's so sad how partnerships always end. The only couples that stay together are if the number two knows their place. That's why you'll be married forever. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Kelsey is answering for a lot of old tweets. I've been trying to get all those tweets deleted. It's him in college tweeting ridiculous stuff. Like, you know, I just gave a squirrel a piece of bread and it straight smashed all of it. You know the people that went looking for these tweets were so disappointed when they found them. They're like, I'm gonna find him being racist. Oh no, he just gave a squirrel bread. Taylor Swift made a surprise appearance on Dancing with the Stars. Best of luck to all the contestants. How did they get Taylor Swift? That is mind blowing. If you ever could get Taylor Swift to show up here, please do it with Mel's on vacation. No, 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 please. Oh. <laughs> if, you had, if you had Taylor Swift in this building while I wasn't here, I would quit, Harvey. Okay, I'll take that challenge. <laughs> <laughs>Why is Kanye West filming this man? All will be revealed tonight on Danger in Dubai. And this sordid tale of international espionage all started because of... The failed hug between Kanye and his former trainer, who have a very tumultuous past. Harley Pasternak uh, is the former trainer. They do not get along, have not gotten along since 2016. Harley is the one who called authorities and said, you gotta come to my gym, Kanye's here and he's melting down. And that's when he got 5150 on the psychiatric hold. Cut to this week. Both men are in the lobby of the Atlantis Resort. Kanye sees Harley and according to Kanye's people. Kanye told his security that he felt uncomfortable. He said, I think this guy is tailing me. And he surreptitiously starts filming the dude. What? Busted. What's the real story now? According to uh, sources that we've spoken to who were there, Kanye approached Harley and seemed to like want to hug it out with him. Harley immediately rebuffed that, doesn't want anything to do with Kanye. So as Kanye's filming the man who would dare insult him in this manner, the concierge asks Harley if he needed hotel security, and Harley's like, yeah, but Kanye took off before security arrived. Maybe he thinks in his head that this guy's telling I mean, me. That makes no sense for Harley Pasternak to follow Kanye to the Middle East. Harley has is a very successful trainer. We're told he has like almost 20 gyms in, in the Middle East. Including Dubai. By the way, he has a fabulous gym in Dubai. Have you been? Yes. You went all the way to Dubai and you no, went to No, I didn't go there for the gym. <laughs> oh. So thanks for the big misunderstanding, Kanye. Dubai. One of the most famous right arms in sports no longer works. Drew Brees revealed he can't throw anymore. I don't throw with my right arm anymore. Uh, my right arm does, does not work. Back in 2005, he was a San Diego Charger. He blew out his, his arm, his shoulder, dislocated it. It's very famous. He was walking off the field like this. It was horrible. People thought he'd be done. So I, that kind of put me on the fast track to a degenerative shoulder and um, all kinds of arthritic changes and stuff like that. So no, I, don't, I, don't throw, I don't throw with my right arm anymore. Do you understand what the current implications of that are? Yes. It means that Aaron Rodgers is not going to be able to walk in 15 yes. years. Who cares, dude? You made millions of dollars. Like, sorry you can't play quarterback in the Turkey Bowl game. Would you break your body? Hell yeah, for a million dollars? You could be a wealthy, wealthy man, but you would be in pain for the rest of your life. Knock me out. I would do it in a second. Young people would give up their health to be rich. Old people would give up their money to be healthy. You always want what you don't have. They can only say that they would give it up because they are healthy. Because they think they'll be young and healthy forever. They don't have those pains yet. Jacob, have you ever broken a bone? No. Oh. Sorry that I'm durable. <laughs> you guys breaking all your bones. I will say that I've been trying to get all those tweets deleted. That's Travis Kelsey on his podcast, speaking with regret about his past shameful tweets. For example, I just gave a squirrel a piece of bread. Dear God, he's 
Cancelled! And then immediately, uncancelled! Because that tweet was totally fine. The past couple days, everyone has been going crazy about Travis Kelsey's tweets from 2011. Yes, like the aforementioned squirrel tweet. I just gave a squirrel a piece of bread and it straight smashed all of it. He spelled squirrel, you'd appreciate, terribly. He also misspelled the word peace in piece of bread. Squirrel is hard. That's a tough one. S-Q-U-I-R-E-L. L? Unbelievably incorrect, but very on brand for you. So, what else did Travis tweet? He has one about IHOP. He's like, I'm coming here for breakfast. I think I'll have the T-bone steak and eggs, please. But it wasn't all fun and games, because Trav also tackled serious issues, like nap time. Okay, yeah, it was pretty much all fun and games. And yet, Travis wants his tweets gone. Since I've gotten to the league, I'm like, gosh, I just want, I want all those things to get deleted. Why is he trying to get them deleted? Usually when people pull old tweets, they're problematic. But in this case, in this case, it's fun. You know the people that went looking for these tweets were so disappointed when they found them. They're like, I'm gonna find him being racist. Oh no, he just gave a squirrel bread, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, giving squirrels bread is just fine. For now, cause these things change pretty quickly. Travis, regret us out of here. I want all those things to get deleted. We are learning more about what led up to the explosive fight between Kim Zolciak and Corey Bierman. As we've reported many times, these explosive fights they get into are over their dwindling financial problems. No, dwindling finances. Dwindling yeah, finances. the financial yeah. problems yeah. are going up. <laughs> the finances are going down. <laughs> what are they arguing about now with money? She's spending and they don't have it. No, is she still, <laughs> I mean, is she still spending? They went They went to the Morgan Wallen concert. They went to that dinner. I that mean, dinner? they're spending money, dude. Uh, Harvey, isn't it likely they get served another credit card lawsuit? He's like, blows his stack. He's like, this. you had another credit card? No, he was the one sued. She no. was the one sued for the Bank of America one. That was her. I can't keep up. Let me tell you, they'll give credit cards to people that shouldn't have them. You know what the problem is? People don't carry cash, and they get in much bigger debt than they would otherwise. It's true. I will say, I never have cash on me. Ever. Oh, I have a load of cash today. Oh, you don't want to tell us how much cash you got today. You got a load of cash, and I got a ski mask outside. <laughs> And now Ben Affleck shows off the classic Bastin' Boys Breakfast. Take a cat and a Marlboro Six, mix it with one of them Wicked Lodge Dunkin' Ice Coffees. Yeah, ha, freaking awesome. Ben Affleck was spotted enjoying the breakfast of champions, Marlboros and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> champions of potential heart disease, but yes. Ben was picking up his two kids in LA when he flashed his favorite vices. He is in good shape. And he is, you know, fast food restaurants, Dunkin' Donuts, cigarettes. But the smoking's gonna catch up with you. Tell that to Joe Camel. Dude doesn't look a day over 35. Jennifer Lopez is like the epitome of health, though. How is she like, oh, I'm cool with everything, selling like smoke? I don't think he smokes around her, though. He was smoking in his car the other day. Do you think Duncan hates that? Because he's like their spokesperson, and now he's seen with all these cigarettes. Donuts are the most delicious thing made. Not at all on topic, but factual. Donuts taste yummy, yes. But there is a difference. He's now in his what? He's he's pushing 50? It's just different. I don't get this. Why is it like if you eat a donut when you're 50 years old, people act like you're gonna put on 10 pounds? Like, eat a donut. <laughs> Cause we do. <laughs> Let's talk in five years, buddy. Dude, no, no. It's night and day. It's like I aged in dog years. But it's like, no. what are you? Well, you still look okay for being 210 years old. So, what have we learned here? Covered everything. Smoking's bad for you. Donuts are good. And Jacob's gonna be a fat ass in five years. <laughs> so, thanks, Ben. Enjoy your fast and boys breakfast. Now let's hear from Taylor. Taylor Swift made a surprise appearance on Dancing with the Stars. They had Taylor Swift night. It's a love story, baby, just say yeah. It was a celebration of Taylor Swift music on the show. 
She got on the Jumbotron behind there and gave a personal message where she said, Hey guys, it's Taylor. I just wanted to say thank you so much for having this me themed night on Dancing with the Stars. I so wish I could be there to see what you and your amazing choreographers and my friend Mandy Moore have put together. I wish I could be there, but I'm on tour in Brazil. But I'm sending you guys all my love and best of luck to all the contestants. Is there a danger of overexposure? Yes. No, they're promoting her music. They're probably only using Taylor's version. Okay. On Monday, we're going to do a Taylor Swift uh, B block. So let's see if Taylor will and you reduced it for us. If you ever could get Taylor Swift to show up here, please do it when Mel's on vacation. No, 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 please. <laughs> if you had, I would quit, Harvey. I, if you do what? that to me. Cameron, get me Taylor Swift now. <laughs> <laughs>
Do they have so many hits? So we don't know exactly what the lawsuit is over. We got an idea. Probably over either royalties or maybe Hall doesn't like Oates performing solo and doing their songs. I believe that's it. If it's just about royalties, there's no reason right. to get a restraining order. Yeah, they must freaking hate each other, right? A clue we got was a year ago, uh, Daryl Hall was on Bill Maher's Club Random podcast. Great podcast, by the way. And great episode, because Bill accidentally blew the lid off the Hall and Oates beef while it was still raw. You have a partner, so it's a little different than... I don't have a partner. You're you not... think John Oates is my partner? You still tour together, don't you? Yeah, but he's not my partner. Well, you're part... He's my business partner. Uh, he's oh, not geez, my... well, look what I've stumbled into here. He's, I, not, I, I, he's I... not my creative partner. Says he basically never was. He goes, kiss on my list, that song is all me. And now Oates is on Hall's list, but it's not his kiss list. To me, that underscores this is somehow about Oates singing the songs that Paul says he shouldn't be singing. It's so sad how partnerships always end. The only couples that stay together are if, if the number two knows their place. That's why you'll be married forever. Yeah. He's married to a real man eater. Do we need permission to say that? I got Natalie Nunn on the TMZ tour bus. She is from Bad Girls Club and Baddies on Zeus. So I say, Natalie, you've had a really big year. So earlier this year, Nicki Minaj like shouted her out in a verse. So Natalie starts rapping the verse on the bus. Okay. Even if my name was Natalie Nunn, <laughs> we just still couldn't chin chat. I love it. Have you talked to Nicki about that since yes, it happened? Yes, that's my baby. That's my son. Are you guys talking about? I love that. The funniest part about it though is like the actual song is more of like kind of a backhanded compliment to her, but she like. It's like even if my name was Natalie Nunn, these women still couldn't chin check me because Natalie has like a big chin, so it's kind of like a <laughs> joke. You said she shouted her out in her song, she then insulted her in right, her song. Right, right. But Natalie took it as a compliment because when the song came out, she rapped it every single day for like a month. Where did you see her? Uh, uh the Ivy. Oh, I was hoping it was Chin Chin. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love you guys. I love you too, bye. Coming up. Absolute chaos broke out before a World Cup qualifying match. Cops swinging batons, fans going after each other, and Lionel Messi was scared. Whoa. Damn. Why? Absolute chaos broke out before a World Cup qualifying match. Cops swinging batons, fans going after each other, and Lionel Messi was scared. So it was before the match between Brazil and Argentina. As the national anthems were being played, fans started going at it. Whoa. Damn. Why? They're big rivals, and players had to go over there and try and calm everybody down. But not Messi. Messi didn't get involved in this, right? I mean, he was standing nearby, and he was just like, Shocked. How old is he? I, I'm curious. He's 36, but he's only 5'7. What, what the hell does that mean? You gotta be at least 5'9. For what? To find a man attractive. What? You know, if Mel had been born a man, she would be the biggest misogynist. Do you think? Yeah, because you are so superficial and you hate men. And over there, she'd be like, Keith. Yeah, you, you're just Lady Keith. You're Lady Keith. Welcome to the club. That's the most offensive thing anyone's ever said to me. Mel, it's okay. You can be part of the club. And you're gonna be just as single as Keith if you wanna be a part of the club. <laughs> I am just a single as piece. Coming up. We got one of the hottest reality TV stars on the TMZ Celebrity Tour. Oh my God, tell me. We just had a couple of fans that wanted to say hi to you, maybe take a picture. Christine Quinn. Oh, you got the villain of all villains. We did it again on the TMZ Celebrity Tour. Oh my God, tell me. We got one of the hottest reality TV stars. You just had a couple of fans that wanted to say hi to you, maybe take a picture. Christine Quinn. Oh, you got the villain of all villains. She used to be on Selling Sunset. We got her on the bus. I asked her about the show. Is there any tea that you can give us about the upcoming season? Gosh, I don't know. I just uh, feel like it's getting a little snoozy, in my opinion. Oh. She said she believes it's gonna be a bit dry. Oh. This is awesome. It was great. Can I ask you something at this point? How would you even avoid celebrity sightings on this bus? I mean, at a point you gotta say, oh God, another one. If you're in LA, 
and you're here for Thanksgiving weekend. No discounts, but still go on the bus. <laughs> Not even Black Friday discount? Well, I'm actually working Friday. I am too. Is it really Black Friday? No, 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 that's not the game. No, no, no. No. It was so nice to meet you guys. I hope you have so much fun.